Welcome back to The Doctors. I'm here with Dr. Wendy, and we're going to answer some of your biggest questions about sexual side effects. So let's take a look at the first one. I miss you. Oh, I miss you too, baby. I can't get you off my mind. I want to see a picture of you, baby. I want to see you. Ooh, sexy. Oh, yeah. You look intelligent. I really want to know, doctors. Seriously, why are emails and texts so addictive? Yeah, I want to know, too. Wendy, so let's get started. Why do you think that texting and sexting, as the kids like to call it, are so addictive? Well, first of all, it's more common than people think. In the recent Harlequin Romance Report, did you know that 43% of women admit to sending a sext, which mm. is a frisky email, and 27% admit to sending a naked picture of themselves? I think with sexting, people are doing it more often because you're not, it's not visual. So you feel that freedom of a little bit of anonymity, so you feel like it's okay. People will say things in text and email that they wouldn't say to your face. Yes, and do they not understand that there's a digital copy of it forever and ever in someone's phone that can be forwarded to anybody ever at any time? But the other know. reason, Dr. Lisa, that it is so addictive is because our iPhones or our smartphones function in a random interval reward system that's exactly like a Las Vegas slot machine. Mm -hmm. In other words, we're scrolling through, and most of our emails are really boring spam and their bills, and there's someone from the office wanting to know this, and then <gasps> George Clooney. Oh, and so there's something exciting a, a hot email, maybe just from your boss to tell you you got a raise, or an email from, some, from a prospective mate. So that kind of stuff gives you a charge in the brain, but because it comes in a random way, it's addictive, just like that Vegas slot machine. Well, I tend to think males are much more visual, although I will show you one hottie picture here <laughs> that we'll take a look at and we'll tell you why pictures can actually cause arousal. So you take a look at this guy, you think, oh, he's really fit and handsome. What goes on in the brain? Basically, it's a psychological and physiological arousal. It ignites these centers in your brain. They get all lit up and you are ready. You're ready for stimuli. And what happens in, these brain, in the brain is dopamine is released, oxytocin, neurotransmitters that get your body ready for arousal. These things can actually cause physiological things going on in your body. One of them is the heart beating faster. That means you are ready to um, get at it. So there you go. All right, so that's what's happening when you look at a, a really sexy picture. All right, so let's get to another question. We have an anonymous caller on the phone. Are you there? Hi, guys. How's it going? My question is, can being on birth control make you feel depressed? It, it can. It's actually a rarer side effect. So it's not one of the most common side effects. But what can happen is just when you have PMS, just like those changes that happen with estrogen, progesterone, you see that with the synthetic hormones that are in contraception. And so basically, you can get depression if you're more susceptible to it. Um, also, more progesterone, uh, like progesterone-only birth control pills will cause this to increase. But everybody's different. So if you find that you're feeling depressed on birth control pills, talk to your doctor because that's why we have so many different individualized um, That's true, trying a different kind of pill because mm -hmm. isn't the opposite effect? I mean, I think a birth control is a happy pill. Yeah, because yeah. it can actually suppress, if they're imbalanced, we can actually use them to help with PMS. Right. So you can have both. Okay. Did that okay. answer your question? Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look at our next question. Hi, doctors. I have a question. Are there sexual side effects with taking antidepressants? And if so, what can be done to reduce or prevent those side effects? Wow. So, you know, one of the most common side effects of antidepressants is decreased libido, and sometimes it can affect orgasm, reaching orgasm. And so it's like all of a sudden you're feeling better, but you don't feel like doing anything. So, and that's one of the main reasons why people will go off their antidepressants. Right. right. And we have to remember, too, that sometimes environment can trump biology. A lot of people, especially women, are taking antidepressants when they're having postpartum depression. And at that time, their hormones are low anyway. They don't feel good about themselves and their body, and they're walking around in their bathrobe for weeks. Mm -hmm. So getting in an environment that makes you feel beautiful, fit, and healthy can sometimes counteract the chemical effects. And that's so true. A lot of women will stay in. You have to get out. You can't isolate yourself. If you just stay inside, it's only going to make the depression worse. Well, thank you so much for being here. Good to see you. Coming up, a renowned chef who lost one of the most important assets to his career, his entire stomach. It's a story you can't afford to miss.